Hey everyone, I've got this Gravely ZT1634. It's a nice personal zero turn lawn tractor. Um, issue I'm currently having is uh, the parking brake doesn't completely hold tight on one side. I'll show you in a second. So there you saw that the left wheel was slipping uh, while the right wheel was holding tight, so it was causing it to turn around in circles. The great news is this is a super, super simple fix uh, on this unit, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, briefly, I'm going to just pull the seat up to show you where the mechanism is. Um, the, uh, the brake in is engaged right now. When I disengage it, you're going to see... This axle rod here is turning when I engage or disengage. And on uh, right in the center area, you've got two rods that when I engage the brake, it's, it's um, all right, this is disengaged. It's letting them loose. When I engage, it's pulling, pulling tension on those rods. Those rods, as you can imagine, go all the way back to the uh, axles where those wheels are connected and that's where you get well it's actually on the transmission and that's where you get the brake effect and actually when you engage that brake what it's doing is it's pulling this uh, this mechanism of the teeth back onto the um, onto that that gear with the teeth it's locking it in place I'm releasing it right now, and now here I'm engaging the brake. Here's another look at it from the back side. Where when you uh, engage it, it's pulling that mechanism forward. All right, the adjustment, like I said, is super easy. You're going to see that same, the end of that rod is right here and on this bolt we're just going to simply give it a turn i'm going to go i'm going to try for one full turn and see what kind of adjustment that makes okay it's right behind the pulley there one note of caution when you're down here you see what this thing is huh this is the muffler it's the hottest part of the entire engine, so do not touch the muffler by mistake. You will not forget it shortly. In order to make this easier, I have actually a, an 8-inch extension here uh, for my socket wrench, and that just gives me the perfect reach to be able to make this uh, adjustment. All right, I've, I've turned it, tightened it by one full turn, and now we're going to... Uh, we're going to give it a whirl. So there you go. You can see that that adjustment was all we needed. Um, it felt like I could have gone more, but I'm also sensitive. I don't want to go too far with that and uh, put any um, potential uh, interference when I'm driving the mower. So I guess that'll be the next test, is to make sure that I can drive them over and it, it feels like uh, there's nothing um, trying to stop it or pull it back. But that's it. That's what I was wanting to show you. Thanks for watching. And if this was helpful, please hit the subscribe button, which is like a tip jar, uh, because YouTube will uh, help steer some more of that ad money into uh, my pocket for a little bit of beer money. Thanks for watching. Take care.